The arthrochalasia type of EDS is inherited as an autosomal dominant condition, which means that only a single pathogenic variant in COL1A1 or COL1A2 is necessary to cause the condition. Now, we can make a clinical diagnosis of the arthrochalasia type of EDS if a person has congenital hip dislocations, and unusually stretchy skin. So those two major criteria in and of themselves are sufficient to make a clinical diagnosis of arthrochalasia type of EDS. If a person has congenital hip dislocations and joint instability with recurrent subluxations and dislocations, we also need two out of five minor criteria to make the diagnosis. And those minor criteria include muscle hypotonia, kyphoscoliosis, mild osteopenia, tissue fragility, and easy bruising. There is no single cure for the arthrochalasia type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. We have to manage each of the symptoms one by one to the very best of our ability. And because the condition affects so many different organ systems, it's very important for people to assemble a multidisciplinary team, preferably with with people who have experience in the management of Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders.